Hi, I'm Tori Hashka and I write eattori.com. It would be great if Christmas dinner was a one-size-fits-all kind of meal, but it's not always the case. There's a good chance that at my table I'm going to be having a vegetarian, a vegetarian, somebody who's gluten intolerant, and then somebody who just wants to keep off the white starches. So what I've got here is the makings for a sort of stuffing that should keep most people happy. So I've got the oven on to about 200 degrees and what I've got here is about 300 grams or so of closed cup mushrooms and I want to remove the stems from them. A bit like taking out a really tiny tree stump, bash, bash, twist. Doesn't matter if the stem gets butchered a bit, all you really want is for there to be a nice opening there which you can stuff later on. And now we want to get some flavours going on that will play nicely with the mushrooms and later on with the spinach and the quinoa. So to me that's garlic and that's rosemary. So we've got about two tablespoons of olive oil in there on a medium heat and then we're just going to roughly chop two garlic cloves and then cross chop them there with about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of rosemary. Okay. Just transfer all of that into the oil. Give it a bit of a shake around. And then we're going to turn to the stems. This is a good time of year for thrift. Money can be going everywhere, so you might as well use everything of what you've bought. In they go with the garlic and the rosemary. Give it a bit of a shake and a stir and leave them to quietly cook down for a couple of minutes. Now the thing with stuffing something is that you want something to actually stuff. What I'm going to be using here is something a bit different. It's quinoa. What I've done here is I've cooked it in some stock that I've made out of dried porcini mushrooms. Just about five grams of dried porcini mushrooms that have been put in some boiling water, so they've puffed up, and then the liquid turns a nice amber autumnal colour. So, we're going to tumble in the quinoa now. And in case that's all looking just a little bit brown, what I've got here is some baby spinach. You don't need to get too fancy with the chopping, you just want it to be hacked up a bit so then it melts and wilts into a soft little green garland. Okay, so that's about 80 grams of spinach there. In it goes and the heat from the pan should wilt it pretty quickly. Okay, so this is pretty much wilted by now. I'm going to turn the heat off and just let the residual warmth in the pan soften the rest of it all together. Right, so what we're going to need is something to help meld this stuffing together. So I'm going to use two types of cheese here to help do that. The first is parmesan. I've got about 30 grams of finely grated parmesan there. And then what I've got here is some boursin. Uh, it's the soft French slightly herbed cheese that you can buy in most supermarkets. It's pretty good value for what it is and it has a good ability to stick things together. So three tablespoons of that in. Stir all of that. And now the last thing that I want to add is something with a bit of acidity, a bit of sweetness and a bit of brightness. This is all very woodsy. What I've got to the side here are some dried blueberries. So that's about 40 grams there of dried blueberries. And now it's time for craft. So you want to have your closed cup mushrooms and then you want to do a bit of craft. So take some of the stuffing, encourage it onto the top. So I'm just going to put these into the oven to bake for about 20 minutes. But before that, what I really want to add is just a little bit of extra crunch. What I'm going to do is just flake over the top some almonds and then some pumpkin seeds or pepitas. Okay, they look pretty good to me. They need to go into the oven for about 20 minutes or so until the mushrooms are nice and soft and the nuts are golden brown on top. I think that this 
is a pretty good side for some of the more difficult guests that you might have. Add a splodge of creme fraiche over the top and some black pepper at the end if you want to take it to another level or else just serve it as it is. It should keep them happy or if anything it should keep them full. Hopefully it works.